Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, as you may have already seen from the title, I'll be giving you 8 tips of 16 on how to be productive with your journals. This video is in collaboration with Crimson Ruby. She too made a video on how she stays productive. She'll be the one giving the other 8 tips so make sure to check out her video right after you watch this. First on my list is to create a routine. My routines are not set in stone every month, so what I like to do is to create a spread dedicated to my routines so that I could look through it every day to the point that I'm already devoted to it and I would stay in that routine for at least a month and change it up again for the next month. A routine is very important for me since it helps me to either start my day or end my day. In a way, it helps me to be more productive throughout the day because the routine that I set up for myself helps me to get energized and pumped enough to accomplish my workload throughout the day. And the reason why I change up my routine every month is so that life won't be boring for me. Having to follow the same routine every day is just, well, it won't work for me. So yeah, that's why I change it up every month. So just, I don't know, I would have a, so that I would have a different workflow throughout every month. So if you want to see a morning or night routine, let me know in the comment section down below. Now moving along, my next step is to create an environment far from any distractions. When working, I like to stay in my desk away from online distractions. I keep my iPad on airplane mode, spe especially when I'm journaling or filming a YouTube video. Um, but if it's during the weekdays, I keep my phone in a short distance away from me but enough for me to hear emergency calls from my boss since we are all, I guess, working from home. I don't really allow myself to scroll through my social media when working on a task because I'm the type of person who gets distracted very easily so it's so I guess it's safe to say now that that I've already disciplined myself to avoid my phone or any social notifications.
Next and I guess is the fourth tip which is to follow the ruling weekly. If you're not familiar with it, my understanding for the ruling weekly is having a task list for the whole week, not necessarily to the point where you indicate each task for each day of the week, but you create a list of to-dos that you want to accomplish throughout the week. And you want to make sure you can see it in your weekly spread so that you can check it off when you're done and that's the only time you'll be placing it on the date of when you accomplish it. Here I'm using the pre-made notepad that was gifted to me, but if you don't have any access to this, then stay tuned because I'll be giving out a printable template for you guys to use in the, in the format of the Rolling Weekly. This will be the free template that you will be receiving later on. I'm using the sticker sheet that I've given away for, as a freebie from my September setup. If you haven't seen that and want to get your hands on it, this video, well, the video will be linked in the cards above or the description box below. Also, you can recreate this template whether or not you have the Procreate app. You can easily create this on your GoodNotes app or your paper journals. But if you want this specific template, instructions on how to avail them will be in the description box down below. Now on to the next step which is time blocking. Time blocking helps me to assess my day. I use it to check how long it took me to accomplish each task and it helps me improve next time. Plus, it also keeps me up to date of what happened throughout the day so that it would be easier when I write down on my journals later that night.
next step is to prioritize. Right now in my planner, I have a big goals and extra goals category in my daily spreads. I use that to separate um, the urgent to do's with the not so urgent to do's. Here is an example on how I usually fill it in. It keeps me productive to finish big tasks first rather than the easier tasks. So tip number six, um, don't overload. Uh, I don't know if you're like me, but before I like to list down a lot of tasks in one day, which doesn't really help me, it just caused me to stress out. So it's really a great tip to avoid overloading your tasks in a day. Finish what you can, do the rolling weekly. Uh, yeah, everything actually connects with one another. So again, as I've mentioned earlier, prioritize and don't overload. Next, and we're almost up to the end, uh, my seventh tip is using the Pomodoro technique. Basically, it's leaving out at least 5 or 3 minutes in every other hour of your work to either just stretch, close your eyes, or even get a snack. It actually helps you to be more productive because you're allowing yourself to, well, to try not to stress out in each task that you are currently doing. And for my last tip, and what I feel like is the most important one, which is to plan ahead. That is basically what planners are for, or your journals, or even just a calendar. Planning ahead will help you be more productive because you're all organized and set to whatever comes your way. So every day after work, I like to set my to-dos for tomorrow so that when the next day comes, I won't panic and I will avoid procrastinating or lays out. And that's all the tips that I have made for you guys. Hope everything was helpful. Don't forget to check out Ruby's video for the extra 8 tips on how to be productive. Clickable link will be in the cards in the description box below. Plus, if you want to get a hold of the free template, rules will be in the description box below. Thank you guys for watching. Happy Burr Months. And I wish you guys to have a productive weekend ahead of you. Virtual hugs and kisses. Bye! Thank you.